All right, guys. So we'll quickly look at the globin synthesis. All right, globin synthesis. So you can see that this is a structure of hemoglobin. So this whole concept of globin synthesis came when I was reading about synthesis of hemoglobin as a whole. So you get to see that hemoglobin is made up of hem, the hem component, and the globin component. So hem component is kind of like synthesized separately, while globin component is synthesized separately. You understand? So I've looked at the hem one, right, which is a whole lot of steps and all of that. We have looked at down. So this one, we just want to focus on the globin component now. You get? So for the globin synthesis or making of this globin component of hemoglobin, we said that uh, globin chain production occurs in the cytosols of erythrocytes. That's like in the cytosols of red blood cells. I think I had the picture here. Um, yes, cytosol. Well, this one, well, just know that it's a cytosol. Right? This one is mitochondria. I felt it was a red blood cell. All right. So, unlike hem synthesis, globin synthesis does not take place in the mitochondria. So, globin synthesis is highly regulated to um, ensure that there's a balanced production of what? Globin and hem. Okay. So in an event of it's actually an event of non-regulation of okay, sorry, in an event of event of non-regulation of production of these globin chains, protoporphyrin 9 or ion may accumulate and damage the cell. You understand? So any normal hemoglobins in man, irrespective of the stage of development, have the the comprise of the alpha-like, okay. See, this is alpha-like, this is alpha two, this is alpha one. All right, this is beta two. This is beta one. All right. So the bulk of this thing is uh, is all like the main thing is the ion. You understand? Okay, sorry, sorry. The main thing is uh, the globin. All right. So the hem is kind of like a secondary component, if you ask me. All right. The globin is the one that is the forms a bulk of hemoglobin. You understand? So this is it. We just talk about the breakdown. So the organizational structure of the globin gene cluster indicates that what well, irrespective of the hemoglobin type, the globin gene cluster is basically made up of alpha and beta-like globin chains. You understand? The main thing is the alpha and the beta. So these other ones is just subdivision. All right. So say so that um, alpha-like cluster is located on chromosome 16. Okay. Contains three functional globin genes of the F epsilon, we have the alpha one, we have the alpha two. All right, then three pseudo genes, you see them there. So, how about the beta is on the chromosome 11, have five functional genes and just one pseudo gene? You get so the whole thing is uh, generally globin genes have three coding regions called the exons, okay, and two non coding regions called the introns. All right, exons and introns. Okay, so the relative position of introns and exons are similar in both globin genes. Right, the extragenic extragenic region of alpha-like gene cluster is highly polymorphic, with hypervariable uh, hypervariable regions. Right, and consists of variable numbers of tandem repeats of short sequence DNAs. Right, so in view of the polymorphic nature of alpha-like globin globin genes it also has several restriction fragment length polymorphism scattered along its length okay so the beta like gene cluster on the other hand does not contain what hypervariable regions right but has several single base what rlf r FLPS, right? Scattered along its length, right? These ones are just trying to like uh, describing it, right? Just trying to describe it, right? So the structure of globin gene as seen in most other uh, rapidly transcribed gene is that the region um, immediately, I'm oh, sorry, the region immediately upstream of the globin gene indicates three highly conserved con sequences. That promotes effective transcription. All right, so that's just it. Right. Yes, I think this is what they are trying to explain. Right. The five prime end and the three prime side. Right. 
So um, the Tata box found a stream of transcription initiation site helps to accurately locate the site of the transcription initiation at the cap site. All right. So then downstream is a three prime. This one contains a sequence a a t a a a. All right. And signals for addition of what more poly A's. All right. That's a polyadenylate. Okay. So if there's need for you to add more things to this sequence, you add from this side. You understand that's three prime this is a five prime all right so this one is just for that talking about it which can pause to look at it all right okay so i think basically that's it for the globin synthesis so next we'll be talking about the stages which all those translation transcriptions we'll go one by one by one by one by one like that all right so that's it guys for this globin synthesis Alright, we'll see you guys in the next draft.